it's becoming a big issue that United is finding it very difficult to win any games at all. Mbappe, Vinicius Jr. Vinicius. All of them don't, very important they, don't, players. They, they don't want to be at the number nine. Role. Barcelona are still on an unbeaten run yeah. after seven games. Yeah. Company seems to be the new <laughs> <laughs> the new dog. The new dog. Chelsea Brighton. 2 p.m. Yep. That that game. Wolves Liverpool. Wow. My wolves. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been a midweek of exciting games. Europa um, League has been in action with some crazy, crazy games. The one I can remember is <laughs> United <laughs> drawing to FC20. What's, what's a shock? <laughs> <laughs> FC20, United, you cannot beat FC20. Come on, guys, come on. And also, um, we had uh, Galatasaray with yeah. um, um, the Nigerian international um, Osimen, Victor Osimen, and also the Ghanaian international um, at Puak. Yeah, Pauk. Sorry, Pauk. Yeah, Pauk. not Puak. <laughs> <laughs> at Pauk. Some of these yeah. names are just so confusing. Yeah, Baba Abdul Rahman. Yeah, so it was a Nigerian Nigerian Ghana, Ghana <laughs> derby of a sort. Yeah, yeah. It was an exciting game to watch. Right, guys. Welcome to another exciting episode of Precursor Global Sports. Right here in the studio, I have my man. G.H. Armando, right, we yeah. are here to give you all the exciting <laughs> conversations around the world of football, talk about Bundesliga, Spanish La Liga, yeah. EPL as well, and as well as the Europa League, and all the conversations around the world of football. My name is Prince, I'm Dan, uh, yours truly, always here to give you nothing but the best. Right, G.H. Armando. Yeah. Welcome to the show again. Uh, thank you so much. So yeah. some um, exciting, some exciting games yeah, um, in course. the Europa League, <laughs> and also it is. Um, we must state that the Europa League format is also yeah. just as the, the Champions, Champions League, League format, right. where now every team, all the teams are tabulated yeah. in one table, right. and now looking at the teams that are having the highest Point. performance yeah. at the top, exactly. first eight selected, and then the from 9 to 24 also play the playoffs. Exactly the same yeah. as we explained um, the last time. And it means that this time around, discipline is very key. Very, very all key. the little, little ratings and key you know, um, points are very, very, very important, important to get yeah. you to the top. Sometimes right. two teams can have the same points, point. but there are some little, little, you know, things that would pr propel you yeah. ahead of the other team. So basically that is what it is. And we kicked off... Um, the, the first round of games that was on Wednesday yeah. and Thursday. Let me just run you by some of the games and then we discuss some of the most important ones. We have Al Alkmaar played against um, Elf Elfsberg and the Al 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 Alkmaar scored them 3-2. We also have um, Glimps versus FC Porto. Glimps played 3-2 to FC Porto. Um, Anderlecht scored um, Ferenvaros 2-1. We also have um, Dynamo losing to La Lazio 3-0. Yeah. We also have um, Midtjylland drawing to Hoffenheim 1-1. Um, Galatasaray, my game of the week, um, was so exciting of the day, I should say. Galatasaray 3-1. Um, Osimen beating his Ghanaian brother. <laughs> All right, the three-one against Pauk in um, the Greek champions. We, we also had um, Ludo Ludo Goretz yeah. um, zero. Slavia Praga also two. So Praga winning against um, Ludo, Ludo Ludo Goretz. Man United. Lo uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost a loss. Is that, to be honest with you, this is a. This is a loss because yeah. you cannot play a draw to FC20. Come on. At, at Old Trafford. At Old Trafford. It yeah. was just so shameful. Well, some people will say because I'm from the other side, but it's fine. United <laughs> won FC21. We also had Nice playing Real Sociedad 1-1 one, one draw. And on the Thursday, we have Fenerbahce playing Union Union St. Giloy's. Um, Fenerbahce winning 2. Um, Jose Mourinho's side yeah. winning 2-1. And we also have Malmo playing Rangers. Rangers winning two goals to zero. Ajax 
lashed Besiktas 4-0. Oh. Mm. Wow, wow. Braga also defeating Maccabi Tel Aviv 2-1. Those are Frankfurt 3, Victoria, Plemsen 3. So that was a draw game yeah. right there. F FCSB for RFS um, 1. Win for FCSB. Leon to Olympiacos 0. That was a game I watched. I saw the Ghanaian yes, international Nuama um, displaying yeah. all his magic right there. We also had Roma playing draw to Athletic Club um, where we have two Ghanaian brothers, yeah. um, the Williams in <laughs> right there. And we also had Tottenham playing 3-0 to Karabakh FK. FK yeah. Right, Tottenham um, winning three convincingly by three goals to zero. So those those were the uh, midweek midweek um, Europe European games that yeah, were played yeah. in the Europa League. Right, first of all, what is your um, like? What, what was your game of the week and why? Um, you know, um, actually, I was very much um, interested in the Manchester United game. Right, I thought. Manchester United could have actually just redeemed you know, themselves. <laughs> redeem yourself using these kind of games. Right. But it didn't happen that way. Right. It turned out right. to be a very important game. Right. And it was actually 50-50. No, not to not to forward. forget it won't be fair if we if we say this and don't acknowledge that United also lashed some people seven <laughs> zero EFL EFL Cup. I told them, I told, I told right. them that you need to save some of these goals. <laughs> if, if, you, for important, for important matches. <laughs> and now look at what is happening. Right. It's, it's, right. It's, it's, it's actually not a good, a good For side. me, I think United United needs to, like, I don't know what is happening, but um, it's it's becoming a big issue that United is finding it very difficult to win any games at all. It, it's, especially when there are important games like, you know, a uh, Europa League. You know, yeah. don't forget, they are, they are the FA Cup, I mean, you know, winners. Yeah. And... I mean, it's just baffling to feel that or to think that United is not able to win against a club like FC20. Not to belittle FC20. Yeah, These yeah, days, yeah, I mean, actually. all clubs, I mean, play well. But when you are a United, there's a lot that is expected of you. And we yeah, cannot just, I, I mean, you know. That's, that's what we've been saying. It, it seems some of our teams, like Manchester United, Chelsea, the name and the 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 expectation has dropped right, already. Right. So any team that's coming to play against them has that, that confidence, confidence yeah, that to run them something. out. Right. So I, for Manchester United, the problem for me, I still, I still stand by it, is the coach's problem. The coach has a big problem. And if he's not he's not careful... So you also support be, those who say Ten Hag should be gone by December. Exactly. He should be gone. <laughs> if not, the, the team still has a lot... A lot of work to, to do. do right. if, you, if you see um, how they play, how they approach game, I still mm. don't see the clear picture right. of what the manager is trying to, to right. build. Well, my, my game of the week was uh, um, Galatasaray against um, Pauk, yeah. um, the, the Greek champions. Champion, yeah. It was my game of the week because we have two um, brothers, yeah. Nigerian brother and a Ghanaian brother playing mm -hmm. right there. I just wanted to see how, you know, I mean, what Osimen looks like in yeah. this Galatasaray this guy, team. Yeah. I mean, amazing. He was, um, I think he assisted... I don't. I don't know whether two goals or all the three goals. He was. He. He. He contributed to yeah. two goals I know of. Um, the first goal where he, uh, I think, headed the ball or is it kicked the ball? Yeah. Somehow, Baba Rahman um, had a touch to it that ended up, in goal, you yeah. know, in an in an own goal. But um, overall, I think Osimen is is still has that quality. Yeah. Um, he, no doubt. He, no no doubt, doubt. He yeah. had in uh, in 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 Napoli. He. I, I also saw Baba Rahman, and that was one, one of the things that, you know, still baffles me. How come um, Baba Rahman, you know, um, um, is not in the Black Star team? Yes, he, it's his decision not to come, but then what happened? Yeah. If you see Baba Rahman playing at Pauk, I mean, he's, he's, he's just amazing. Yeah. Last season, he was superb. This season, I mean, he, the guy plays his heart out when he's playing football. Yeah. He's able to do the left, uh, the, 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 the winger um, play both, you know, yeah. run across the, the flank the rings, yeah. from the back and to the, and even contributing to goals. Yeah. And for me, that is the kind of work rate we need um, from, you know, our, our, our players. But it is one of those things, you know, it, it happens and, you know, 
Um, we just have to move on and 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 keep you know supporting and keep praying for these guys. Yeah. They go through a lot, and yeah. we we just have to you know understand their situation sometimes because it's not right. it's not easy. Right. But I just I'm just happy for both of them. That is. Um, Osimen and Baba, Baba Rahman. Yeah. Unfortunately, Baba Rahman's side lost. <laughs> but um, these are and, and you see sometimes because we don't watch a lot of these other leagues, we don't and we don't know the quality the they, of these have, other guys. Yeah, yeah. Park like they, they are superb. They I I loved how they played and Galatasaray as well. So for me, that was my Europa um, game of the week. Yeah. And um, um, hopefully next week we'll get some more European um, um, games and then we'll see how things go right there. Um, now let's look at let's look at the 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 um the other leagues. Yeah. Um first of all uh, the Spanish La Liga. Barcelona are still on an unbeaten run yeah. after seven games. Yeah. Come on. Amazing. Like, this is not Bas the Barcelona we saw <laughs> last season. Last season, yeah. What 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 do, you, what do you think is working or is changing for Barcelona this um, season? First of all, let's give let's give um Hans Flick, Hans Flick uh, his his flags. I mean, he's done a lot for the team. Changing the, the 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 idea of the team to it's just like he's bringing back the La Masia mm -hmm. movement everything to the to the to the Barca team yeah bringing on young boys right you know from the La Masia straight into the first team right. and it's working so well for them if you see right. how they play like he has brought a lot back of that youth like young yes. you know and uh, uh, in in the in the in the in the uh, the, the Euros. I made a statement that if you look at the the the, 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 the football world now, it is more about young talent. Yeah. Some years down, like back, you couldn't see a, a Yamin Lamal yeah, play yeah. at that top level. Level. No. no, there was no way. No. But now you see a Yamin Lamal featuring week in week out, week out. featuring in international no, games. Yeah. Week. I mean, throughout the tournament, mm. it tells you that football is taking a different turn. Ten. If you look at and I was making that analogy regards to the England team. If you look at almost all the top the top teams, they had some amount of youthful team yeah. like players yeah. there yeah. who were doing the magic for them. Mm. So it tells you that as a coach, you also have to adapt to that structure. Right. And that is not far from what is happening in Chelsea in right Chelsea, now. Yeah. It is it is it is like more like a movement, movement. now. Mm. A lot of young energetic players doing all the work and causing problems for the older the older uh, i mean <laughs> clubs with older older players yes 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 so Barca is doing so well so far and they are um, even on top of the league yes leaving leaving real madrid the favorites <laughs> i mean so i think four, four points. points the yeah, difference four points different. that is that is amazing nobody would have thought a, a barcelona would have been able to do with yes. all the you know issues that happened to them last last season and you see you know. one surprising thing about this team is that he has he has elevated some of the players who were right. actually underperforming right. previous years. Someone like Rafinha. Rafinha has been has been Ooh, one of the he's best. He's on fire. He's on has fire. Been one of the best players under yeah. under him, uh, providing a lot of assists and goals. Right. So in this in this kind of situation, if you have a team like that, where goals come any any corner of the of the field, it, it gives you a, more a, a, yeah more a, advantage. More yeah. advantage. Imagine Barca seven games. They've already scored 23 goals, considered only five. Only five goals, right. And right. That is, that it tells is you how, crazy. How, how much they are scoring. They have, they have, they have right. you know, improved right. this right. season. Right, right. And let's look at Real Madrid. The, the, their star man, Mbappe, yeah. um, has, has, has been on as well. Yeah. Uh, 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 unfortunately, Barcelona, you know, looks like the better, be, better yeah. side yeah. of, of, of the, of the two. Good. What, what what do you think? What do you think um, is happening to the Real Madrid side? Um, Real Madrid, I find a, a, a glimpse of conflict of interest. Right, in, right. In some and, of and, and you remember, I made the, I made mention of this. Yeah, that top three. That top three. It's it's going to be a, a lot of conflict. <laughs> yeah, especially when they all uh, looks like the same, a similar profile. Yeah, yeah. It 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 looks like there is a, a, some conflict there. You know, Mbappe, Vinicius Jr. Vinicius. All of them do. Very important they don't, they, they don't want to be at the number nine role. They always want to be at the <laughs> left. <laughs> you know, they, they, that's where they love playing yeah, from. Yeah. So you have to convince mm. one of them to to compromise. Yeah. So it, it, you know, psychologically, he will try. But once in a while, you see that 
definitely he'll run back to that position. He'll go, like, you know, you, you know, uh, and like <laughs> subconsciously. Yeah. He'll go there without so it, knowing. It, yeah. it, it leaves the number nine place very empty. But they are, they are, they are trying to actually work, work together. around it. Yeah. You know, sometimes you see when there's a penalty, Junitius would allow Mbappe to play and vice versa. So one player they've underrated so far in this squad is um, Rodrigo. Mm. That boy has been underrated. Really? I'm telling you. Well, why, do you think, Rodrigo, why do you think so? I, I, I can say he's, he's one of the best in that, in that uh, team. Yeah. In that team. But since Mbappe came, like the, the attention has, has moved, shifted, from him. shifted from him. And he's doing so well as well. Scoring goals already. Creating so much uh, for the team. But I, I still don't know why they, they don't really regard him. Rodrigo is, is a fantastic player. But he player. plays he plays most of the games. Yeah, he do. He, he, or what, what what when you say they don't regard him, what what is your what what are you trying to say? Right. So he's he's been he, he's like he's going to be the scapegoat if there's going to be dropping one of these three. Yeah. He might okay. be the one to okay. be dropped. But mm. I think he's still you think that they've not placed more importance on him on him like they've done for Remember if, even getting to the start of the season they were considering him you know, selling, sell, selling him. But Rodrigo well. rather plays from the right. From the right, and he's he's okay. He's he, okay. He doesn't, he doesn't have complain. issues. Yeah. But we all know that he's also favors that left or even the the, the, mm. the, the, the second striker mm. or even a striker. Yeah, right. He's just you know taking the chances mm. for, for but the team. If if they they should drop, if like because of the, the, that conflict, yeah. If Madrid should should drop one of these players, like as as a starter, mm. which, which, who do you think would be their best? Option to, for to now, put on the bench, yeah. Vinicius is untouchable for, for the left. <laughs> for the left, so definitely Mbappe is, is he, he needs to prove that I can't be dropped, despite the huge amount so you, of money. You think you think it would be better they start one of them from their bench rather than just putting all if, of them? If, that, if that's if that's going to solve solve the problem, the, the conflict. But mm. I think they are they are. Mm. Carlo actually being the experienced man right, as he is, right, right. is actually trying to actually. Right. So let me quickly run by you the 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 the, the, uh, the table of the Spanish La Liga. Yeah. Um, Barcelona is on top after seven games with yeah. twenty one points and um, some eighteen goals. Uh, how many goals? Twenty three. Twenty three yeah. goals. Yes. Twenty three plus five, eight. Five yeah, seven, yeah. Right. Goal difference of plus eighteen. Yeah. Right. And we also Real Madrid is on um, seventeen points. That's second. After seven games, they yeah. lost two. They, they lost two games and no, won. They, they drew draw. two games, yeah, sorry, two games. and won five games. They lost zero, and mm. they have um, sixteen, 16 goals. goals. Yeah, sixteen goals. Um, conceding five. Right, conceding five goals. And Atletico Madrid is also um, fifteen. They are, they, are, they are third with fifteen, yeah, points. 15 points. Right, after seven games, um, they've won four of their games. They drew two. They lost one. They have um, fourteen goals. Right, and they've conceded fourteen goals. <laughs> that is serious. <laughs> that is serious. And Athletic Athletic Club Bilbao are on the fifth. Po- sorry, Villarreal, Villarreal is on the fourth. They have four wins, um, yeah. two draw, two draws, and one, one loss. loss. So they are they are fourteenth, and they are fourth on yeah. the table. Mm-hmm. Right, and the fifth is Athletic, Athletic Club, Club Bilbao, Bilbao yeah. with thirteen points and uh, on fifth position. So basically, that is how. The, the table looks like. But quickly, let's touch on the um, Bundesliga. Yeah. Uh, Kopeni seems to be the new... <laughs> <laughs> the new Don. The new Don in the, in the, in the Bundesliga. Yeah, yeah, what is yeah. happening? Um, Alonso um, looks like, you know, what happened last season, yeah. is not, he's not able to repeat it. I mean... Because they've lost already. They've he, lost he, games he already. Can't, like, I mean, um, he had a good run, no doubt about that, last, last season. Last season, right. Um, amazing, amazing records broken and even certain so to continue this same, that same level this year would have been very difficult you know we've already seen how he he's struggling but the team still perform very well let's no take take uh, right. exception about the team still perform very very well they are just three points uh, behind behind them um, you know Bayern Munich. So there, there's definitely going, there's definitely going to be a some lot kind of, of yeah. mm. tweaking and you know rotation in the team right. and all that. So right. I'm not really surprised they've not they've not been able to continue that form. But let's see the two youngest you know coaches, yeah. In, in like I mean, interesting uh, personalities there. 
most most people say they are also from the students of Guardiola. Like, <laughs> they are doing so well. Right, right. Um, unfortunately, they'll be meeting this weekend. So, right, that will so be a game to look out for. Look out for, yeah. Liverpool's in Bayern Munich. We yeah. will definitely be having it's going to be a, a conversation game. around that in our next um, 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 review. Right. Okay, so the Almighty EPL. Yeah. Mm, it's happening over the weekend. Um, let's let's look at some of the fixtures and. Um, what what our predictions are tomorrow we are having um, Newcastle playing against Man City. Manchester City, yeah. That's that's going to be a, a big game, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. At um, eleven, that's a, an early kick of eleven yeah, thirty a.m. What 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 do you make of the game and your predictions? Right. So this game has has to be one of the games <clears throat> Guardiola needs to take in, take seriously, um, considering the fact that. His main his main men are not are in, not in, yeah, available around, around yeah, Rodrigo and then um, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, so he has to find a way, and we know he can, but maybe it will take some time. But let's look at the the players he are available for that uh, for that you know position. Um, Kovacic is a good player, he he's a solid dribbler good carrier of the ball but Rodrigo offers a different you know uh, dimension in the games Rodrigo won't run with the ball the one two three touches he has with his colleagues actually build a lot and the energy the, the strength he have he has in the middle also helps a lot so maybe Kovacic will, will, will be the one to take his to take, immediate replacement to, to, his at least immediate for now replacement. He also have Gundogan, who has the the, the the football knowledge, but also lacks the, the strength. strength yeah. So Rico Lewis is he's still, he's still very young. He can't actually play that role, play that role yeah, yeah. as well. So yeah. for me, he will struggle a little. Definitely, his team will try and run over. And I think um, um, Rodri might be out for the entire season. The that's that's season, what that's yeah. the report we yeah. have. And this actually has the ability to impact a lot on, on his team. Right. And this this actually opens it up for a lot of <laughs> yeah, other yeah, yeah. You know, um, teams to take advantage of. Because advantage of it. Yeah. It, it will affect the team and that would affect their prospects going into the right. um, champ, the, 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 the winning the league. Yeah. Don't, don't you think so? Yeah. And of course, people actually uh, suggested that why not call back Kevin Phillips from his loan. Then <laughs> Gadula just put a stop to that. And... Let's see how he will right, right. actually cope right. with it. Let's look at Arsenal Leicester City. I think um, it's it's. So it's what's your prediction on the Newcastle City game? Newcastle is going to be tight, but City, slight City, win for Manchester City, City, City. Two one or three one. Right. I I yeah. see I see a two zero for Man City. You, you know, as we keep saying, Man City is still Man City, regardless yeah, of especially was. meeting a, a club like Newcastle. Newcastle is doing well, but Man City will definitely ride over mm. them. I see a two one. Mm. Arsenal Leicester City. Leicester still have a, they have a, good, a lot to do. Still. Lot they still have work, a lot, lot to do. I mean, they, yeah. they, we don't we, we are not seeing them, and their fans actually have started calling on calling um, on the the owners to sack what, the coach. To sack the coach, yeah, that's, because that's serious. They are comparing him and Enzo for uh, Enzo Maresca, Maresca already. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. could see that it's going Crazy. to be a problem. What's, for, what's your what's your what's your prediction on that? So game? Um, definitely, Arsenal will have a win. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, uh, what's 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 your two score? nil, three nil. Yeah, I see. Okay. I see a three zero against Leicester City. Yeah, Brentford West Ham. Ooh, um, Brentford West game. Ham. Yeah. I see a draw in here. Right, one one or two two. I, I see Brentford slightly edging over West Ham. Yeah, West Ham still one struggling. Nil, yeah, they are still struggling. A one nil for Brentford for me. Yeah. Chelsea Brighton, two p.m. Yep. That that game I has been um, in balance for the past few years, but Chelsea have gotten the better of them last season. I think right. they will continue the same. So Chelsea win three one. Right. Yeah. I, I see a two nil for Chelsea. I, I see a two nil for Chelsea. Everton Crystal Palace. Another another um, tight game, but it's Crystal Palace. Crystal we'll Palace. Engaged, yeah. I, I I also give Crystal Palace a one a one a one nil victory yeah. over Everton. Nottingham Forest Fulham two p.m. as well. Nottingham Forest Fulham. Let's not forget that Nottingham Forest are still still unbeaten. Right. And um, Fulham off and on, but this is going to be a tight game. I see a draw one 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 yeah. one draw. Yeah. I I I call it see a draw. Um, I see a zero zero draw. 
um, in the game. Wolves, Liverpool. Wow. My Wolves. I, I don't know. I just <laughs> feel, yes, feel just something like them, for them. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> they still don't um, right, right. play up to my expectation. But Liverpool actually will, will, will win by three goals to one. Three goals to yeah, one. Yeah, I think goals. Liverpool Liverpool will, is definitely yeah, the better side strong, of these two. Yeah, for, them. for them to be able to. I, I see I see a 3-0 for Liverpool. Let's let's see Ipswich Aston Aston Villa. Yeah. Ipswich Town Aston Villa. 1 p.m. That's on Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Right, the next day. Um what what's your prediction of Aston Villa? I mean, a very good team. Right. Uh, Una Emery doing a, a very fantastic mm. job for the for the team. And um Ipswich are also still trying to get a win. Absolutely. But uh, not not today, not in this match. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Villa just too right. Good. I mean, it's, that's that's just the point. Aston Villa is too good for Ipswich to yeah. use them as their scapegoat. Yeah, I mean, Aston Villa will dominate this game and they will win by I think two two zero. Yeah. What's your scoreline? Three 0 mm, right. Aston Villa. United Tottenham three thirty p.m. Yep. That that would be a, a big game. A big game. Right. To be fair. Mm. Um, United just need to step up. Uh, to be honest, if you look at the the gameplay, the system, I don't really know what um, um, Eric Ten Hag is still trying to build. I mean, he can't complain for now because they've supported him. They've uh, given him, given him yeah, the players yeah, he, yeah, wants, he wants, um, from Dele to Masrawi. Um, I mean, Ugati and all. He said they are building. They are building something. If you are building it something, <laughs> let's see the picture. That, let me, Let's compare that to what Enzo Maresca is doing. You will right. see a clear picture. Mm. If 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 Chess is playing, you will see the system they want to play. And what is what is actually worrying a lot of United fans is that this this is not his first season. That's the For third you to say season. you are just coming right now, so you don't know the players. That's the third season. About your and third season. Struggle you should be able to, to to give us the picture. It means you are just not the one. We um, Enzo Maresca just took over three four months now. Yeah, and we and can see the picture. Showing, yeah. He's showing the picture what the team what, exactly and what he himself is capable, is of, capable doing. of doing. Right. This is your third season as a coach, and we are still trying to see the picture you are you are, you are building. So Absolutely. he has to he has to sit Absolutely. up. All. I mean, Absolutely. it's going to be a tough a, tough yeah, game for problem them. for him. So what what what's your scoreline on the game? Um, it's going to be tight. Mm. I mean, um, mm. Tottenham Hotspur has not also been themselves, up there, yeah. but. Mm. 50-50 for me. Yeah, I see a draw in this game. If Manchester United has to mm. step up and yeah. win this game, but they will um, I still, I still don't. But see for me, I think I still see United edging a little bit over Tottenham. I see a two-two-one win for United. You that'll, know, that'll be I tough. mean, I've I've seen <laughs> um, I've seen um, um, Rashford doing not bad. I mean, in a couple of games they've yeah. has, I mean played, and I, I still think that they have the quality. This is about no how doubt. to work no work with the players, yeah. and sometimes you know it's not just about the coach. Sometimes the players can actually also you know step up and do something. And I feel this is one of the games you know the brilliance of the players will just will win them the game. So I go for a two one for uh, Man United. Now the last game will be on Monday. Yeah. That is Bournemouth Southampton. Southampton. Wow, I mean Bournemouth has has been impressive um, during the season. Um, likewise. Southampton, they've been the one of the poorest. I right. Mean, and if 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 we are going to take this game into consideration, right. Bournemouth is they should kill it. Is, Bournemouth is, is going to kill this game. Yeah. Them, so. but, and that's going to be at seven p.m. Ghana time. Yeah. All the times I'm mentioning are Ghana time. You, the, wherever you find yourself, just add the time difference. If you are in Nigeria, just add an hour yeah. um, or ahead of it. Right. So. Um, for me, I think yeah, Bournemouth is just the clear um, favorite right here. Yeah. Not exactly. after you know their the game against um, forgotten the team where they came two 0 down on the 80th minute. Yeah. And they were Since then, to... they have not gotten a win. Right. So, so I feel this to... is the game they would they would be they would want to just win um, to keep the team going. So going, I, I yeah. see a win for Bournemouth. I see a two zero win for Bournemouth. What's your scoreline on this? Um, game? For me, I think it, the goals will be more. Mm. Three, four. I'm, Three. I won't be surprised. Right. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at the table. Um, very, very, very close <laughs> table. Um, for EPL, uh, Man City are on the top with one point difference. Yeah. From um, Liverpool, and that is that is too close. Not very not like close. what we've seen um in in the uh, the, the La Liga. Yeah. Where we have over 
how many points difference? Four, four points. Four points. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's very close in EPL and it, it tells you that things are really really <laughs> boiling. <laughs> yeah. And so we have after five games we have um, City on the top. Yeah. With eighteen points, um, um, winning four four games, mm. drawing one, and uh, losing none. Yeah. And they have thirteen goals. Um, they've conceded five goals. Yeah. And uh, giving them a goal difference of plus eight. Liverpool, after five games, also, also um, won four games. Yeah. They um, drew one. They lost. Uh, sorry, they yeah. lost one. Yeah. And drew zero. Zero. Yeah. So that puts them twelve and puts them in second position after um, City. City. And that yeah. is a point different. So yeah, just a, a lot can different. change within the uh, within the weekend. Yeah. You know, depending on what happens. Happens. Aston Villa is on third yeah. after five games, um, four wins. Um, Zero draws, one loss. Yeah, they have ten goals and they've conceded seven, seven goals. Wow! And I think Liverpool are ha, have the least conceded goals. Yeah, which is just one. One. They've conceded only one goal. Amazing. That is that is amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. And we we wow! That is amazing. The 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 one I even said was my best keeper. The, the, no, that changes nothing. Yeah, has conceded three goals. <laughs> three goals for uh, uh, us now. Yeah. David Raya. Raya. Right. So that takes me to the fourth position, which is Arsenal, the Gunners. Yeah. Um, after five games, they are on fourth position with um, three wins, three wins, three wins, two draws, and no loss. Yeah. So they have eight goals. They've conceded um, three, three goals. Yeah. So that puts them fourth. And on the fifth position, it's the almighty Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> and I think a lot of people are surprised to see how good... So, I mean, we, I mean, Chelsea fans are equally surprised yeah. to see how things are turning out because we've complained a lot and things are really changing. Yeah. I, I don't know what you, what you make of that. Um, even, even the best, the best um, pundits in the world complain and, and yes they even of course they, they, they didn't they even said worse things uh, yeah yeah, worse yeah. they are all shocked and now <laughs> some of them are chopping their words <laughs> <laughs> already right so right. um i think it's, it's a good start right. Uh, right for me from five um after five games chelsea are fifth and right. the, the the points difference what's 11 goals? only three points from the, the yeah, first, yeah. the first, yes. So anything can happen. That's as, as I said earlier on. Anything can happen yeah. over the weekend, and we will definitely be looking out to see what um, Chelsea and the other teams will be able to do yeah. to yeah. Um, change the the the, the standings in the table. Right. So as I was saying, after five games, Chelsea has three wins, three wins one yeah. draw, one loss, and. We have 11 goals. We've conceded five. Yeah. And we have 10 points. So the rest, uh, you know, Newcastle follows Brighton and all of those other teams. Man United, unfortunately, is 11th yeah. on the table with only seven points. Seven points. That is not really um, good. West Ham, 14th. Some of the big teams are really, really struggling. struggling at the moment. So. Right, the, right, right there. But then, I mean, this is EPL. Anything can change in the middle of in the, the middle, season. Yeah. You see how things um, will go. Right, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you're watching for the first time and smash that like button. It will help the video to reach more people. Yeah. This has been Precursor Global Sports. My name is Print Hamdan, and I see you in the next episode. Peace, Peace out. We out.